Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. Our concept is Order of Operations Part 3. Remember, fifth graders, it always seems impossible until it is done. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box so that you can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. We have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in the store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's review order of operations. Most times we hear PEMDAS, which stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, and it is how we solve an expression with order of operations. First, we have parentheses or brackets. That's what we need to tackle first. Then, I mean, next is exponents, then multiplication and division in order from left to right. So that means if you have in an expression division first and after that multiplication, you don't go to the multiplication first, you start in order from left to right. Last, we have addition and subtraction. And remember, again, this is in order from left to right. So let's look at an example of how we apply PEMDAS. Our expression says eight squared plus in parentheses, six minus two times five minus 10 divided by two. Our first step is parentheses. In our parentheses, we have six minus two, that is equal to four. So now our expression is eight squared plus four times five minus 10 divided by two. Next, we have our exponents. We have a eight squared, which is eight times eight. That is 64. Now our expression is 64 plus four times five minus 10 divided by two. Then we have multiplication and division. And remember, this is in order from left to right. So we are going to start with our four times five, and that is 20 minus 10 divided by two, and that is five. So now our expression is 64 plus 20 minus five. Finally, we are going to add and subtract again from left to right, starting with 64 plus 20, it is 84 minus five is equal to 79. And we conquered that expression. Let's look at our first problem. And remember fifth graders, we have our fifth grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. 21 says an expression is shown eight times in parentheses, 3.8 plus 13.2, the parentheses is closed, minus six. What value is equivalent to the, to the expression? Is it F 37.6, G 61.4, H 130, or J 88? The first question we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the value of the expression. And so now that we know what we're looking for, our next important question is, what information can help find the answer? And the information that can help find the answer is that the expression in parentheses need to be completed first because that's part of PEMDAS, right? Parentheses first. So let's solve this problem. All right, 
we have eight times in parentheses, 3.8 plus 13.2, our parentheses is closed, minus six. So we said we're gonna tackle our parentheses first, 3.8 plus 13.2 is equal to 17. Now we are going to multiply because we don't have an exponent. Now next is multiplication and division from left to right in order. We have multiplication, eight times 17 is equal to 136 minus six, okay? So all we have to do now is subtract 136 minus six, and that is equal to 130. So 130 is our answer. Well, what is our correct answer? All we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has 130. Do you see it? And if you answered H, you're absolutely correct. That is our correct answer. Let's dive into question number 22. Margaret opened a new case of light bulbs. The case contained three boxes of light bulbs with eight light bulbs in each box. Margaret threw two of these light bulbs in the trash because they were damaged. Then she took seven of the light bulbs out of the case. Which expression can be used to show that there are 15 light bulbs still in the case? Is it A, three times eight minus two plus seven? B, three times eight minus two times seven. C, three times eight minus, in parentheses, two plus seven. Or D, three plus eight minus two plus seven. So yes, our most in question, important question is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the expression that can be used to show there are 15 light bulbs in the case. Now that we know what we're looking for, what information can help us find the answer? All right, this one is a doozy because we have a lot of information, right? So we just need to take it step by step and figure out how we can find the correct answer. So in our problem, we saw that number one, the case contained three boxes of light bulbs with eight light bulbs in each box. Then two of the light bulbs were damaged and thrown in the trash. And then last, Margaret took seven of the light bulbs out of the case, okay? That is all the information we need in order to find the correct answer. So how do we solve the problem? Let's take everything that we have, all of the information, step by step. Okay, first we said that the case contained three boxes of light bulbs with eight light bulbs in each box, okay? So that means we need to multiply in order to find out our total number of light bulbs, okay? So our expression is three times eight. Then it says, Two of the light bulbs were damaged and thrown in the trash, and Margaret took seven of the light bulbs out of the case. So two plus seven in parentheses, or two plus seven is the next thing we need to know, and because they were taken away or they were damaged, we are going to subtract it from our total amount of light bulbs, okay? So what is the correct answer? Remember, we have first three times eight, and then we have minus, because we, we know that there were some that were damaged, and then there were, uh, there were two that were damaged, and then seven of them, Margaret took out of the case. So those two um, items, those two totals, we need to subtract from the total amount, okay? So, Looking at our answer choice, we have A, three times eight minus two plus seven. That means we would first multiply three times eight, then subtract two, but then we would add in seven more. But that's not what we need to do, right? 
Next, we have B. Okay, we start off multiplying three times eight, but then it shows we need to minus two times seven, and that is not correct either. C, three times eight, okay, that's correct. We need to subtract, and then we have in parentheses two, which stands for the two light bulbs that were damaged, and then the seven that Margaret took out. Possibly, possibly, possibly. C may be our correct answer. Let's look at D. That shows three plus eight. Well, we already know that one wrong, right? Because we know that we need to multiply three times eight. So our correct answer is C. C is the correct answer. Great job, fifth graders. Listen, that was a mouthful. <laughs> But that is it. We made it through order of operations part three. Remember, we have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. And if you need a math or reading tutor, parents can sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. All of the links will be in the description box. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.